Hello and welcome to a new video. Today's video, if you haven't already guessed, is all about how to become an algo trader in three easy steps. An algo trader or an algorithmic trader, uh, automated trader, if you're trading a robot or a bot, there's loads of different names and they're all talking about the same thing. So in the first step to become an algo trader, we need to find a strategy or a method now we need a trading strategy that's rule based so what that simply means is we have rules or conditions or triggers to get us in and get us out of the trade this isn't a discretionary trading type system where you you look at the charts and you might look at technical analysis or you might look at the news and think yeah okay I'm happy, let's get in the trade now. Um, that's, you know, it's not subjective enough. We want a rule-based trading strategy. Now, I've actually done other videos on this. Uh, I'll leave the links to those videos in the description below. Take a look at them if you haven't already uh, got any rule-based strategies or you need to know what one's like. So, that's the first step. Get, get ourselves a rule-based trading strategy. And once we have the rules for that strategy, then obviously we need to code the strategy or code the software, so program the software. So what that does is it takes our rules in plain English and then we write them into the software so the software understands how we're going to take these trades. So again, I've got another video on that, funny enough. Um, how to create a trading algorithm, they might be called, or program or code the software. I'll leave that link in the description as well, you can see, and it doesn't have to be very difficult. It can be really quite simple. You know, a simple rule-based strategy, you know, code it. It could be, just, just an example, buy if we see a breakout above a 10-day high, and then sell if we see a break below the five-day low. It's just an example. You know, two basic rules, you probably want to include a stop loss in there, but if you take a look at that other video, I'll show you exactly how to program it. Now I program it in multi-charts, that's the software that I use to uh, not only test strategies but also trade, being an algo trader, automated as well. So that's the video there. So moving on to number two. Once we're ready, we're ready to trade. Now, talking about ready to trade, once we've got these, the strategy and it's programmed into the software, most softwares, including like the one I use, MultiCharts, um, many do it, they'll allow you to backtest the strategy. So you can take you know, 10 years worth of past data, run it through the computer, and the computer will then take uh, your entries and exits, exactly how you've programmed them over those past data. So it's a good indication of whether or not the strategy is actually going to work well. It's not you know, a guarantee that it's going to work in the future, but if you do backtest it and it looks really bad, then it's very unlikely that it's going to work in the future. Very unlikely that you're going to want to trade it if it looks really bad. So you need to make sure you're happy with it, and then you're ready to trade. Now, some softwares, like the one I use, it's literally as simple as just pressing a button and saying, right, I'm ready auto trade. Now what auto trading does is then once the software is plugged into getting the live data, the live prices in the market, um, it's then looking for your conditions to buy and sell, take profits, everything and as soon as the conditions arise, the minute they, they occur it will send an order to your broker and you'll be in the trade. What you want to make sure is that the code how the backtest works out is the same as how it's going to live trade. Sometimes there can be oddities in, in the code, um, but that's probably a little bit too advanced. But make sure you're happy, not only with the strategy, the strategy rules, how it performs, but and the way it also executes, how the, the algo is executed within your platform. And then once you're trading, that brings us on to the third step. And that's monitor.
With any trading type of strategy or system, whether it's discretionary based, you're manually placing trades, or whether it's a rule based, you're manually placing them, or whether you're trading automated stuff, you always want to keep an eye on what you're doing. Keep an eye on your trading, keep an eye on your results. I do this typically once a month. I'll look at each individual strategy. So I have a handful, well more than a handful, of strategies that are automated and they're trading. They're all individual from each other and I monitor them once a month just to make sure that they're performing right because strategies do stop performing for various reasons. Market conditions change and the performance will stop um, performing as they have been. So you need to keep an eye on that and you need to understand when and where you're going to maybe switch off these strategies if they're not performing right. So that's a really critical third step in this process. Not many people will talk about that. You know, Don't get too excited. You, you've created this algo, you managed to code it, you managed to switch it on. Yeah, you're, right, you're up and running, but don't forget, keep an eye on it, monitor it, because if for some reason that strategy is not working, then you're just going to be it's just going to be bleeding your account. So it's a very important final step. Monitor that. So that's a quick rundown of how to be an algo trader. I've done it for almost four years now. So I know the ins and outs of certainly you know the setup and the software that I use. That's the process that I go through. I spend most of my time developing strategies. If you've got any strategy ideas, um, and you want them tested or looked at, developed, that's actually something I do. You can contact me. Uh, I'll leave email down below. It's jared at the transparenttrader.com. So I'll do that. I'll create strategies, test them, make sure I'm happy with them. When I'm happy with them, switch them on. Let's trade. And then once they've been trading, once a month, I'll monitor them to make sure that they're going well. It's really, the whole process is not as complicated as you might think. You hear about these trading robot, robots and high frequency and really powerful machines and fast machines, connections close to uh, exchanges and all that. But really, you know, algo trading can be very simple. And certainly you as a retail trader perhaps are more than capable of trading, uh, you know, an algo or an algorithmic way automated it really it is obtainable and every day you know software is getting better and better it's getting cheaper to access this sort of software a lot of brokers will actually offer things like mt4 for free that's a capable software of trading if you want to trade forex and develop strategies test them and then switch them on and, and trade them live like i say i use multi charts it's very similar to tradestation TradeStation are a broker, but they also have their platform, one of the oldest uh, trading platforms around, actually. Very good. And yeah, that's another option, TradeStation or yeah, multi-charts, and then that gives you a, an option of various brokers and data feeds. Um, I'm using, I may do another video about this, but I'm using at the moment multi-charts and my broker is LMAX, um, and also interactive brokers. I'm using LMAX the majority of the time at the moment for the last few months. So that's about it for this video. Um, hopefully that's given you an insight of how to become an algo trader. Even if you've got, you might have a strategy that, or a few strategies that you're looking at daily candles or daily bar charts. And at the end of the day, if you're seeing the setup, um, as long as it's kind of rule based, quantifiable and programmable, then why not? Why not program it? Uh, and have the computer take the trades for you. Just freeze up that little bit more time and you're less likely to make mistakes on orders. Um, there's a lot of advantages. I'll probably do a video actually, disadvantages and advantages of algo trading. Can't think of many disadvantages at the moment. But Okay, so that's it. Any questions, uh, leave them down below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and if you want any more in-depth questions, you can contact me, uh, jared at thetransparenttrader.com. I'll see you on the next video.